Maybe I was just crazy. Stop! Put it back! This is a... Get the fuck out of here! Get out! Just a girl. Get out! <laughs> Get out! Ruby it. likes it! Miss me, people. Your head is corny with that Illuminati mess. Paparazzi catch my fly and my cocky fresh. I'm so reckless when I rock this Givenchy dress, period. <laughs> yes. Uh, hi. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that guy? <laughs> Six foot two in the bottom. Six foot two in the bottom. Said he was by, but he ain't. Said he was by, and he ain't. No, every gay in the city. No, every gay in the city. Trying to tell them what what you said today. Oh, um, it's not that you're right. It's just a coincidence that what you said happened to line up with the reality of the situation. Right. No correlation whatsoever. Why is it lesbian Halloween at Michael's? It's lesbian Halloween. First of all, it's July. They have gay Phoebe Bridgers ghosts that are gay. And lesbians. They're not gay. They're not even just gay. They're lesbians too. Go to your local Michael's and check out their lesbian display of lesbian affection. Ha Halloween lesbian affection. This is a lesbian. They're even turning the Halloween gay. I think you should pop your shit. You've been humble, you've been gracious, you've been through a lot, and for some odd reason, you not popping your shit. And I think that you should. Why not? Babe, you're in the wrong section. This says tops. Bottoms are over there. Today I opened my phone, and I obviously opened social media, because that's just what you do. And our feed is all just gay people. But I thought to myself, <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine opening up your phone, opening up social media, and not seeing a gay person? Like, yeah. straight people, this is what they have to deal with. They open up their phone, and there are videos of people cooking steaks. Yeah, they They're, don't immediately see, like, four videos of Chapel Roan's latest concert. Or, like, drag queens. They don't open their phone to a shablam? No, not a shablam in Weird. sight. We how to style another blue suit. Yeah, how to, how to style a peplum skirt. Can you imagine? We're just so lucky. We're just so lucky. So just be thankful today. Yeah, truly. Well, hello there. What's your name? I'm Rodney Big Bottom. No, I'm I'm Rodney Copper Bottom. Copper Bottom. It's a wonderful name. Big Bottom. <laughs> well, I just I'm gay and awake right now. You're gay and awake right now. The person you're going to send this to is gay and awake right now. Look at our community go. 
Are you a part of the LGBTQ plus community? Honey, I am straight. I like women, honey. I am a straight feminine man. Honey, I am just as straight as Megan Thee Stallion is tall. Bow. I am so straight, I make The Rock look like RuPaul. Bow. Category is heterosexuality. I'm straight like lines on notebook paper. Straight like a bamboo tree. Bow. I can give you hetero. I can give you sass. Bow. I can give you femme. And I can give you mask. Bow. My energy, feminine, like a mermaid from Atlantis. Bow. My wrist, limp, just like a praying mantis. Bow. These gays that try to get with me can all sashay away. Bow. These gays think they ate, but there's still food on that plate. Bow. I'm feminine and I'm hetero and all I do is thrive. Bow. You gays think you slayed, but honey, I am still alive. All I want is women. 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 Hetero. Hetero. Hetero, hetero, give me that lady, give me, give me, give me that lady, give me, give me, give me that lady, lady, give me, give me, give me that lady, give me, give me, give me that lady. Realistically, why the fuck would I date someone who isn't obsessed with me? Quickly, like I've never understood that concept of, oh yeah, you have to suffer for love a little bit. Suffer for what? Through thick and thin, what the fuck is that? Only thing thin around here is this waist, fuck. doing I gotta keep the tan up it's not a skin color it's a lifestyle brian so you wouldn't know that because you're white as a ghost you're haunting this house with your whiteness brian sorry but like gay lingo entering like mainstream like lingo or mainstream media or whatever the fuck you want to just takes me aback every time like i'm never gonna be used to it. i'm not like if you hang around a bunch of girls now and like they like making fun of a guy gonna start calling him dl dl he dl spell dl you don't know what the fuck that is i was talking to my manager today and i was like yeah i'm gonna come in tomorrow she was like yeah and be on time no shade no shade what if what the fuck do you know about shade when you go about and do certain things it sometimes gets crazy but when it does happen to be that way, do you ever do it? A hundred percent. I, my go-to is the crazy option. My mom says when people say go right, I go left. Like, I choose the wickety wackety. Mm -hmm. So when about it, it does? It does go about it. Okay, thank you so much. No, I want a new question. What do you mean? It, wait, do I don't know, know the premises of this work. I want to answer right. Yeah, it's just serving face. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> <laughs> this is the police, baby. Woo! Emergency, emergency. Paging doctor feet. Emergency. Woo! Paging doctor feet. Emergency. I'm non-binary, except in the cases of Let's Go Girls, Go Piss Girl, and more recently, Girl, it's so confusing sometimes to be a girl. Thank you. To me, a girl's gay is a gay guy whose best friends are all women, and then a guy's gay is a gay guy and all of his best friends are gay men. And there are very distinct personality differences between girls' gays and guys' gays. For instance, if you're a guy's gay, half your personality is just being like having an attitude and being sassy for no reason. But to be fair, if you're a girl's gay, half your personality is just standing woman pop stars. Me, I'm a girl's gay. Yeah, of course, I'm sexually attracted to men and I have a good relationship with like some men, like my dad, I don't know. But at the end of the day, I love women, I'm obsessed with them. Yo, it's really crazy, like where I live at, do not drink poppers. Do you know how serious they gotta be here? That they got these out here? Who is drinking this? Who? You were 
Please don't call me twin. I don't look like you. Bad bitch and I'm cocky. Make her hating her uncomfortable. She thinks she first. Gotta be April Fool. Bitch just wanna be messy, so I came in this bitch with a broom. Pretty bitch throwing bees up. Hell came with my feet up. Face card don't decline. So I heard a few thousand gay men snuck into the Republican National Convention and crashed the grinder app. I hope they catch who did it. Claiming my queerness in public and particularly in the public eye has meant taking a risk in order to claim my freedom. For so long, I lived in deep admiration of anyone who could fully embody their true authentic self wear their queerness like a feather boa and proudly state this is a beautiful part of who I am. I used to say that it felt like I was looking at my own community from inside a glass box. There you all were, vibrant and beautiful and falling in love. And I had my nose pressed up against the glass looking out at all of you, separate and apart. It took time for me to outgrow my box, but Time is a gift that gives us space to see ourselves clearly enough to know that denying a part of oneself is a disservice to the whole. But now, the glass is shattered. <laughs> and there is no box in sight. And I have walked out into the wide open spaces, into the arms of you all, and it feels like home. As I stand here in front of you, black, bald-headed, pierced, and queer, <laughs> I can say I know a thing or two about being the other. Alphabet's story is the cautionary tale of what it can sometimes mean to have to stand in your individuality, your otherness, even when systems of oppression are set against you. It is the story of how a colorful, powerful, magical woman, despite being disparaged, demonized, and discriminated against, becomes a hero. Wicked is the reclamation and the reimagining of all the labels that are used against her. It is the proclamation of her right to exist in all of her power. If that sounds familiar to you, colorful, magical people in this room, it should.